Hey everybody. So why is it that we find um, antimicrobial resistance genes in locations where we don't think we should find it, right? We can sometimes find it in people that haven't personally been treated with antibiotics in a long time, pigs that have never been treated with antibiotics, we can find um, them in the soil. Uh, we've even found uh, resistance genes in strange locations like caves, um, where we're the first people we know that have been in those caves. So why do we find those? I think we've got three things that are working together to make that sort of make sense. So thing number one, right is survival of the fittest so if you treat a person with an antibiotic um, then that is going to kill all the bacteria that are susceptible but survival of the fittest the fit are the ones that have resistance genes they're the ones that are going to survive and they're the ones that are going to get to propagate so that explains why we see those genes around people around pigs that have been treated around other animals that have been given antibiotics it makes sense right survival of the fittest so that's reason number one reason number two um, fun fact, uh, penicillin actually came from penicillium mold. In fact, 80% of our antibiotics, or about 80%, came from the natural world. So they came from uh, metabolites that were made by bacteria and molds uh, in the environment that, you know, as humans, we found those, said those are cool, and we picked them up and started using them in human medicine. So unfortunately, when we did that, we didn't eradicate any of those species from the world. So they continue to live to this day in the soil and in the environment, and any bacteria that they come into contact with, right, they put pressure by putting out those metabolites or those antibiotics and it's survival of the fittest right they kill the bacteria that they can and what survives are the ones that can survive those are the ones that have resistance genes those are the ones that get all of the resources and those are the ones that get to propagate so I think that explains why we find genes in some locations um, but that still don't, doesn't make sense for all the locations where we find resistance genes here's the last piece of that puzzle it is the fact that bacteria are incredibly good at moving around genetic material so humans don't get to do that unfortunately but bacteria do right they don't know what they're doing they don't know that they're picking up resistance genes but they can if a bacteria dies another bacteria in the environment can soak up those genes they can make little bridges there's even um, uh, viruses that can pass genetic material from bacteria to bacteria um, and so there's all sorts of ways that bacteria can move around resistance genes so we get resistance genes because we use antibiotics we get resistance genes because we got antibiotics from the natural world and so we expect to find those resistance genes in the locations where you find those bacteria and molds and number three bacteria are really good at passing around genetic material so I don't think we should be surprised anytime we find resistance genes in locations we don't think we should. I think those three things sort of explain why that might be something we can expect.